Allegheny County not alone in getting revised restrictions. Surrounding counties are looking at some changes too, but there's some confusion about what is going to be allowed where. Nicole Ford is live now with a look at some of the frustration over that. Nicole. Well, Ken, we're outside Emiliano's in Cranberry where the sign reads open, but will indoor dining be able to be continued? That's the question business owners across four counties want answered. The problem, that answer has to come from Harrisburg, and the governor's office says no announcement will be made today. People are showing up at restaurants and bars calling it their last supper. We go by the motto of you know, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Manny Williams says he was told Butler County will have to shut down indoor dining after the state issues a new order, but there's still no official word. You can't have a press conference at six, seven, eight o'clock at night and telling people that they have to shut down the next day. Where's the forewarning in that? Where, you know, where's the respect for the small business owner, the families that depend on this. These expected changes coming out of phone calls Secretary Levine had with leaders from Butler, Beaver, Washington, and Westmoreland counties on Tuesday. They threw us a little curveball whenever they said that they wanted to put a uh, order in place that would uh, limit indoor dining only. Um, that's all we were told. Camp says no specifics were provided except that the new order would include four counties and could limit the number of people allowed to gather. He, like many residents, are waiting for an announcement. Indoor gatherings or outdoor gatherings, it hasn't been clear. Uh, there's a lot of people who reached out to us already. Uh, individuals who have canceled their weddings in March and April who are having them this weekend. Uh, they need to let their, their vendors know. Well, each of these counties do have rising coronavirus case numbers. Camp tells me the state needs a better plan. There has to be light at the end of the tunnel. We can't continue in. I know it's a fluid situation, but we can't continue to make up new rules as we go on. They need to put something in place. They need to enforce it. Now, I called the governor's office as well as the state's Department of Health to ask them about all of this. Both of them said that they would not be making any official announcements today, but they are watching southwest Pennsylvania and do plan to take action if cases continue to rise here. Reporting live in Butler County tonight, Nicole Ford, Kitty K News.